Hello there! I'm Peggy from Teacher Friend and today we are going to talk about how I plan a unit for my homeschool. By the way, this is Minnie. She was being annoying to my daughter so I took her. Yeah, I dug her. Today's video is very special to me because it is my very first collaboration. So I am excited about that. This video is in collaboration with Liz over at Coffee Powered Home. And I have watched all of her videos and I've enjoyed them. My favorite of her videos is Wanna Be an Influencer? Better start with your kids. <laughs> so if you are one of my viewers, first of all, thank you for being one of my viewers. I truly appreciate you. But also, um, go and check out Liz, she's got some great videos. If you came over from Liz's channel, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. And I hope that you will like this video. Most of the units that I plan are typically shorter because my daughter is young, but this time she has requested dinosaurs, which is a little stressful to me because I feel like saying let's study dinosaurs is like saying let's just study all of the animals. <laughs> There's a lot to dinosaurs, but I'm going to try not to stress myself out about it because we'll probably do this unit again when my son is older. And we can always incorporate other things about dinosaurs later. I'm really just not worried about if I don't plan something because I just know it will all end up okay. And so that's just one thing that I wanted to mention to you is don't feel so much pressure that you feel like you have to like get every single thing about that animal. And if you don't, you're messing up, then your kid will end up hating you because we never taught them this particular thing. Don't feel like that. One, homeschool is about teaching your kids the desire to want to learn and teaching them how to learn. So if you teach them these things and they like it and you teach them how to learn, then they can go and find out the information for themselves. How I typically start a unit is just by just letting it sink in and just thinking about it for a little while because I want to think about what things do I want to teach my kid and also what do I want to learn because I feel like homeschool is just as much about your kid learning as you getting to learn the things that you want to learn and showing your kid that you love to learn too and that you're excited about learning the topic too. Not that it's not saying that you know everything because you don't. <laughs> it's uh, instilling the love of learning in them. That's the, the best gift that you can give your kid. Then what I'm gonna do is shop my house, which is why we are in my playroom today. And quick, let me just show you around my playroom so you know where we're at. Then I'll typically look up some free YouTube videos. YouTube is an excellent educational resource and I definitely have taught my daughter a lot of things using YouTube, but be careful and make sure that you preview what you're showing your kid before you show it to them because I have made that mis mistake before. So <laughs> make sure you preview it before you show your kid. Oh, okay, sorry. Little Miss Whiskey and Flossy. Yeah, you wanna go see your kids, huh? So, and I then I will also often check out the library. The library is also an awesome free resource. Um, I'm having a little bit more trouble with the library right now because of COVID. I'm not super good at finding the books online that I want. 
and yeah it's just it's just a bummer actually because I want to go back to doing story times and things like that say hi Minnie say hi Minnie you say hi you say hi to the people say subscribe to my mommy's channel subscribe to my mommy's channel I think that's what she's saying <laughs> Sorry, my card was apparently full, so my video stopped, but I am back again to start my uh, video today. I am going to just start by shopping my house for the things that I might have already for this unit. Since I have already completed my step one of thinking about what I, what I might want to do, and then I will move on to the other things I just was talking about doing. And I'm going to take you guys along so that you guys can see my process. And I hope that you'll like it. Please let me know if you have any questions about today's video. And also, let me know what you guys typically do for for your learning units. Is there anything I, f I forgot to add? Let me know. Okay, I am finished shopping the house, and let me show you what I found. So, I found loads of books. This one is so cute, Dinosaur Dance. We got this one for doing a library summer reading program, and I love it. It's so cute. It's by Sandra Boyton, and she has some of the cutest books. And... This is one of my all-time favorite kids' books. I'm a Dirty Dinosaur. It is so cute. I purchased it from Usborne, but I'll see if I can find an Amazon link for it. It is adorable. Papasaurus. I might use this as an excuse to purchase the Mamasaurus one because this one's cute. A cute counting dinosaurs book for, for my son. I have this dinosaur activity kit by Learning Resources. It's got patterns, counting, addition. It's got all kinds of fun stuff in here. So I'm excited about that. I have this cute little dinosaur for my son so he can be learning about fine motor skills and stuff with his dinosaur. I like that. And a friend of mine gave me these puppets. I thought we could maybe do an educational dinosaur puppet show. I think I'll like that. So I got this for my baby shower. And it is so cute. My aunt got it at a craft fair. And you can like stick little trees and bushes and stuff in it. And it's, yeah, just this cute little grassy area, but it folds back up into a little carrying bag. Anyway, so I thought this would be good for 
some play with learning with the dinosaurs. So I have, I had purchased a bunch of dinosaurs for a cake um, a while back, which if you haven't seen my video about cakes, you should definitely check that one out. It's cute. Uh, found a dinosaur puzzle. I found dinosaur stickers. I thought we could maybe do a craft with these and she'll find these fun to do as a reward for her worksheets or whatever. And kinetic sand we have in the past done a dinosaur dig with these and that was fun although this stuff is messy so it's often on top of my play shelf in my playroom because I don't want to deal with the mess. <laughs> Amongst all of the books that I found I only had this non-fiction one which came with the dinosaur toys so I am excited to have this so we can match these up and learn the names and we can compare the features of the dinosaurs and stuff but um, I do think I will look and see if I can find some more dinosaur non-fiction since that's the only non-fiction that I that I have I am happy to have the fiction ones because they are very fun and then we can compare fiction and nonfiction. So that will be good. And what I did after I shopped was I put what I found into a Google document and I made notes about the ideas that I had for the things that I found. Now I'm going to go research some other things and I will take you along with me. This is my Google document for this unit. This is where I put what I found around the house and then my notes for that. Ooh, my list about dinosaurs is real bad. So I put my activity ideas and then down here I put buy more nonfiction books so that I hopefully won't forget that. And next I'm going to see what I can find on Pinterest. You guys, I didn't know I had 86 followers on Pinterest. I didn't think I had any followers. So that's a, that's a big surprise to me. 86 followers is more followers than I have on my YouTube channel right now. <laughs> of course, I've been only been doing YouTube for um, a couple months now, but <laughs> anyways, that's a, that's a fun surprise. Uh, so I guess check me out on Pinterest. I do have some pretty great pins. Measuring dinosaurs, that's a good idea. Ooh. I'm gonna do this too. Pinterest is the best, isn't it guys? Oh. I like this one Com comparing the size of our feet to theirs. That's a good idea. Oh, hey, that's the set I was telling you guys about. Ooh, build a dinosaur out of shapes. That's a good idea. Oh, lava. Yes. Let's do some lava, guys. This one's comparing carnivorous eaters with herbivores. That's a good idea. 
What would you do without Pinterest, guys? What do people do before Pinterest? I just don't even know. Sorting. Did I get started teaching my son how to sort? Oh, you know what? A friend of mine did this activity with my daughter when she was younger. I should do it with with the kids again. And so I found some really great stuff on Pinterest. And I'm gonna head over to the library website and see what I can find to check out. Love the library, guys. Next, I'm going to see what I can find on Amazon. I am almost finished here. So I found a bunch of cool stuff on Pinterest. I found some library books to check out. I found some great YouTube videos, which I will link below. And um, I would normally see if there was a place we could go. And I do think that there actually is a place um, around me where I can um, take the kids to go see some dinosaur like uh, fossils and stuff but um, because of COVID I don't think that we'll do that but I will keep that in mind for the future and another thing I would consider is if there's somebody in my life that knows about dinosaurs luckily my husband knows a lot about dinosaurs so that one's very easy that person's already in the house but you can maybe think do I know somebody that works in this field and would they be willing to like write my kid a letter or Skype with them or show them around their work, whatever that might be helpful. Be prepared and okay if they say no. Not everybody is going to want to do that or be willing to do that. Um, that recently happened to me with a, um, a unit that I was doing and you know it was totally fine, it was no big deal. I also found some cute stuff on Amazon to purchase a couple of books. One is about a female paleontologist, um, since I don't want to limit her in any way as far as her field just because of her gender. So I, I'm excited about that book. And I got an egg activity that I think the kids are going to love. And a uh, book about dinosaur museum i don't know it was highly rated rated and so hopefully it's good we'll see i try and save amazon for the end because by the time i have shopped my house and thought of field trips and found youtube videos and library books and stuff like hopefully i won't be like itching to buy a bunch of stuff because i already have a bunch of a stuff set out and I already have a bunch of ideas so I hopefully shouldn't need too many things um, also if I do find something cool um, on Pinterest that you know say requires uh, let's say popsicle sticks that I don't have then I can add that to my Amazon list quick and then we can do that activity also so that's another reason to save Amazon to the end so I think I'll leave you guys with that today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to comment below. And also, tell me what you guys like to learn about. Give me some ideas to teach my kids. And um, 
make sure to like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate every single person that subscribes truly from the bottom of my heart and I give my husband a high five for every single new subscriber so <laughs> make my husband's hand hurt from all the <laughs> from all the high fives um thank you guys so much for watching today and know that I truly appreciate you and I appreciate you watching this video and I hope that you have a wonderful day